If you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. Hi guys, so today's look will be a complete look. It will be from base till full coverage makeup look. <clears throat> and this look you can actually use whenever you are going for a party or you have a wedding to attend for a close relatives. And hope this video helps you out. If you like my content, please do share, like and subscribe my channel. So first what I am going to do is I am going to take my Indulgio oil. I have already uh, toned and prepped my face and I want base to look flawless. So I am taking my Indulgio oil. Now next I am going to take my Pro Conceal Corrector. I am going to take at the back of my hand. And whatever remains on the brush I will take it here. I'm going to take my wet beauty blender. I'm going to take some more. <coughs> I'm going to take my concealer. This is from MAC. <coughs> this is in the shade. NW40. So I'm going to take a brush. This is from Pack. Place it here. And place it here. Now one. I have little bit of pores here. <coughs> I'm going to take my MAC Prep Plus Prime. Taking this much because I just have little pores here. Now for foundation i'm going to take my mac nc40 when i was traveling i prefer travel uh, carrying this small jars so if you can see this is studio sculpt nc40 so this is the shade that i'm going to use it today take my stippling brush scoop the product out so this is now i'll place this product everywhere. If you can see the shade is absolutely matching my neck. Now whatever remains in the brush and back of my hand I'll take it in my neck. I'll take my wet beauty blender and I'm going to blend this all. Now you can see I've got a flawless base. Well, I need to contour. So for contour, yeah, this is from Pack. I'm going to take my Nykaa palette and I'm going to pick this. And I'm going to place the product just here, here, and here. So actually I'm making a three, if you notice. Now the this side of Beauty Blender, I'm going to blend this all in. Now that we have done bronzing, we are going to set this crease with a loose powder. So I don't have a, a loose powder in translucent. So I'm going to use taking this and I'm taking my blender which comes with this. I'm going to take a product generously. So I'm going to set this. You can see the difference. First I'm going to set the crease. full face 
Gracias. I'm actually going to shape my brows. So for shaping my brows, I'm going to take my brow brush. So this is by Real Techniques. And I'm going to take my liner from MAC Gel Liner. This is eyebrow liner. I'm going to quickly shape my eyebrows. First I need to comb it. So for combing I'm taking my spoolie. I'm going to start my shadow so for eyeshadows today I'm using my palette from sugar cosmetics so I'm going to take my very thin brush and I'm going to take a highlighting shade which is from this palette sugar this is also from sugar I'm going to take this shade in a small brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone Now the same shade that I have used for highlighting my brow bone, same shade, I am going to take and highlight my inner corner. If you want to see how I created this eyes, then keep on watching. So to create this look that I have on my half side face, I have taken this palette from Sugar Cosmetics. I am going to take my transition brush. So for a transition, I'm going to take a very fluffy brush. I'm going to take this very light shade from the palette, which is coral. So transition always has to be from a very light shade. It has to start from a very light shade. And I'm going to place my transition product here on my, accepting my highlighting zone. And I'm going to just place the product and dab it in circular motion. Once that highlighter, once that uh, transition shade is over, I'm going to take my second brush, second fluffy brush. This is from Pack, and I'm going to pick this orange shade going to dust off the excess and I'm going to place it below the transition shade. I'm going back to my first brush picking that coral shade and I'm going to blend this all out. Since there is no not much dark shades in this palette I'm going to take my Hawaiian palette from the Balm Cosmetics and from this I'm going to pick this shade my small blending brush I'm going to pick this shade dust off the excess and place it in my outer corner and I'm going to move inwards You can see I have actually moved inwards. Once that is done, I am again going to take my second blending brush and I am going to blend this all in. Now to highlight my inner section, I am going to take a highlighting shade. I don't have much highlighting shade which is very pigmented. So I'm going to use my Inglot Dura line and I'm going to take one pump just a little and I'm going to take this palette from Maybelline I'm going to take my patting brush wet it in Dura line pick this glitter and I'm going to place it here 
on my lid area half lid area guys if you trust me then never ever buy maybelline eye shadows it's uh, pathetic it's pathetic they are all chalky dusty powders they don't work you can see there is little highlighting i am going to take my brush the fluffy brush that i took for my transition shade i am going to make that all in just making sure that there is no sharp ed edges the second blending brush that i took i'll take it on my and i'm going to blend this all out now i'm going to take my liner this is from sugar cosmetics you see and i'm going to line my upper lash line cover my lash line so whenever you take out mascara i'm using here Ma maybelline colossal and this is waterproof i'm going to swirl this take out excess in the back of my hand and i'm going to hold this just once to put my lashes and for lashes i am using pack so the lashes that i am using is pack 53 i am going to take out this lash from here taking pack glue i am going to take this and very gently line this so the beauty of this glue is that it turns into a blue color so i'm going to let this dry so you can see this is smaller here and it is bigger here so the smaller part will go to the inner corner of my eyes it has semi dried now i'm going to place it on my eyes so i'll start from middle now i'm going to press both this you can see how my eyes looks now it looks more bigger now i'm going to take my pencil brush the smaller pencil brush i'm going to take a same shade of orange this orange and i'm going to line my lower line i'm going to take my kajal the same kajal from sugar cosmetics just outside my water line so that i can smudge this now there is an important trick that i want to highlight whenever you apply a product or anything below your lash line make sure you always seal that with any dry product or any dry you know eye shadow because it's a cream based and then it will it will just spread so i am just going to take that eye shadow that orange color and i'm going to now spread this both together Now, since it has become matte, it won't smudge. Now, I'm just going to clean the surface. This is. I have taken just any random concealer. I'll take my concealer brush, and I will just clean the edges. Now you can see how beautiful my eyes look. I'm going to quickly bronze my face for bronzer. I'm using my this brush, taking my bronzer. 
Now for blush, I'm going to take this. Since I have a chubby cheeks, I'm going to just blush from here. Just above contour. For highlighter, I'm going to use my favorite highlighter from Maybelline. This is Master Chrome. And this is in the shade Molten Gold or Fondo. I'm going to take my fan brush, pick the product. It's amazingly buttery formula. I'm going to just take here. Wherever light hits my face, I'm going to apply all of this there. So here. So lipstick I have already applied. For lipstick I have used this uh, by MAC. This is in the shade Topped with Brandy. Now, now that everything is done, I'm just going to take my Fix Spray from uh, NYX. This is Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm going to put all my hair behind. Close my eyes and spray this out. So this is just going to fan this. This is how full coverage makeup looks. I'm just going to show you with a close up. this look so if you do like this entire process of makeup then please do share like and subscribe my channel also hit the bell icon so that you do, do not miss any update on my channel lots of love thank you guys bye